So <clears throat> let me just make the record extremely clear if it has not been already. If you have followed my channel, you already know that I do not condone a single thing when it comes to Ezra Miller. You already know that we have gone extensively over the litany of problematic behavior, actions, accusations, actual charges against Ezra Miller. You already know that I have said many times that WB has no reason Zip zeros, be stingy with the De Niro if you got to, to continue on with Ezra Miller. You got nothing. There's no reason to go on with them. You also know that I have been very clear in my position that while I do believe that Ezra Miller deserves all the help, all the rehab that the, that that they believe they need, Please get the help. But that doesn't mean you should be free of consequences either. Okay? You still did the crime, and there's a lot of things you should be doing time for. We already talked about one little thing. Like, one of the many issues, they already pled guilty to larceny or, or theft or whatever it was. They gave him a little, little one-year probation and $500 fine or whatever now there's still pending lawsuits or court cases if i'm not mistaken there's still very damaging accusations of grooming a minor there's still dangerous accusations of putting child children in danger of letting them have bullets in their mouth and stuff like using the flash toy or persona in the aiding of grooming minors having cult-like situations in your house, on your, your residence and stuff, there's a lot of mess when it comes to Ezra Miller. So let's be abundantly clear about that. I do not support Ezra Miller. I support Ezra Miller getting help as a human being to another human being. But I also believe Ezra Miller needs to get them consequences too. Howsoever. About that flash trailer. About that flash trailer. That thing was fire. That was fire. I know usually I wait and not watch it, but I was watching the Super Bowl. It came on. I couldn't turn away. I watched it, but I still wanted to at least watch it with y'all. I still want to watch it with y'all. That trailer right there? That trailer right there? I told y'all I don't rock with Ezra Miller now. But that trailer right there? Let's get ready. We need to we need to talk about this trailer. We need to talk about this trailer real quick. So many things here. Just, I need this. I need this. So if you haven't watched, I'm pretty sure most of us have watched it, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure most of us have seen this. <sighs> now I'm going to put it on the big screen. I already know WB, whatever. I know you're going to strike this. I know you're going to demonetize this, whatever. I don't care. I just want to watch this trailer. Let me rock. I just I just want to rock. Leave me alone. Um, but we do need to watch this. All right, let's go. Tell me something. You can go anywhere. Another timeline. Another universe. So why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? Because this is the world where my mom lives. I'm not going to lose her again. Don't 
time has a pattern that it can't help reliving. Different people, different worlds, drawn to each other like magnets. Mm. My face. You stole my face. If you were to go into the past, you have no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce, I could fix things. You could also destroy everything. This can't be happening. I completely broke the universe. Mm. Sad. We've been waiting for you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? Oh. Mm, mm, mm. You're... You are... You're the GOAT. Yeah. You're the GOAT. I'm Batman. Look at the GOAT at work. Look at the GOAT at work. I can't undo what I did. If I can't get back, there might not be a future. What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. Go ahead, Superman. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I, I'm well, Barry. We're Barry. Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are gonna wanna see this. Oh, yes. Um, but when I tell you, I'm so with this. I'm so, so with this. Um, I'm down. I mean, first of all, you had me at Michael Keaton. First and foremost, you had me at the GOAT Batman, okay? The Flashpoint storyline as well is something that I would definitely encourage if you have not watched the animated one, at least. If you haven't read the comic, that's cool. But there is the animated one, and I believe it's currently still on HBO Max. Go ahead and treat yourself. Go ahead and watch that so you can see the potential madness that could ensue. Um, I would just say that because of the fact that they're dealing with time travel and they got all this stuff, anything could happen. Because at the end of the day, they just going to wipe it all anyway. You know, let's let's just be real about it. It's all time travel. They're just it's just an easy way to reset the, you know, the whole DCU blah 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 whatever. But I am here for every minute of this. And before we go back cuz I do want to rewatch it real quick. I do want to see it again. The one thing I want to bring up is cuz I've told y'all this before. I've said that, you know, one way that they could easily, one way that they could easily get rid of the, um, uh, you know, one way to easily get rid of the Ezra, Ezra Miller problem, right, within the Flash. Because, again, it makes zero sense to recast or to, to continue with Ezra Miller and not just recast. All you have to do, and you could do this in a post credit scene. Let Ezra Miller do whatever he does with the, you know, time travel or whatever. Time travel happens, boom, everything gets reset. You literally can just show a different, you don't even have to show the actor yet. You could just show the fact that Ezra's version of Flash wakes up and his face looks different. You could just do that. Now, why is that the case? Because we just saw in this trailer that Ezra meets 
himself and that Barry looks just like him. However, the WB in general, DC in general, has already established that you don't have to, that, that variants can look different. How? Because we synced it already. Look at Barry meeting Barry, okay? It's Barry meeting B- Barry, which means it is perfectly already acceptable for time travel or whatever fictional shenanigans you want to put in there for Barry not to look the same moving forward. Now, I am not saying that, uh, um, you know, it has to be Grant Gustin or anything like that. If they wanted to have Grant, I'm fine with that. I don't really care. However, at the same time, you it does not need to be Ezra Miller. That's the more common thing. If you want to do Grant Gustin, that's fine. Personally, I think that's a better opportunity to actually get a name brand actor, like a movie star rather than a TV star. Because t- just because you was on the TV star does not mean you translate to the movies. That's not always the same thing. Just because we're used to Grant Gustin as a TV flash doesn't mean he has the same star power if he were to go on to the movies. So I would just say if and you should, if you're WB, recast uh, Ezra Miller's flash, go go find somebody. Go find somebody, you know, one of them little teen heartthrobs that are on the rise with the young folks or whatever and put that person in as your flash. And it'll be easy. But like I said, the precedent has already been established that Barry does not have to look like himself all the time. Let him go through time, come back, have a different face, and we will all move on just fine. All right, real quick. I do want to go back to this trailer, though. I do want to go back. I want to play one more time and just kind of go through some things because this thing, this thing is hitting. This thing is hitting. Tell me something. You can go anywhere. Another timeline, another universe. Mm. So why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? So one thing that I thought was kind of interesting so far, and I pray they fix this. First of all, first of all, recast the Flash. That's the first thing y'all got to do. But right after that, did y'all please fix his running? Are we still about to do the little... I don't know, Hawaiian dance, whatever slow motion water dance thing that he does. Because I I, I noticed that they didn't show too much of him actually running in this. You know, like it'd be him like kind of stopping or maybe him starting. But they really didn't show him actually running. So all I'm asking for, did you please fix whatever? Did y'all fix this? What? I gotta run and whatever that was. I hope y'all fix that. Oof, God, that was so stupid. That 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 when I tell you that was the dumb. Ezra's running as the Flash was as dumb and bad and terrible as Christian Bale's incredibly unnecessary growling throughout the Dark Knight series trilogy. No, no, swear, swear, where is it? Where is it? I even got Kobe barking because he that 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 Kobe even knows what it is. But swear to God, like, bro, you ain't got a voice modulator or something. Something get out of here, man. So, yeah, both of them was dumb and unnecessary. So I hope they fix that. I, I like that's what I'm looking for when I get in this. Please fix that. You see, you see, this is the world where my mom lives. I'm not going to lose her again. Now I will say, I will say, especially if you're familiar with the Flashpoint storyline, this is a very good emotional conversation. It's a very good a uh, theme. I'm sorry. Um, because Barry has the power to change time. And one of the things that he has to wrestle with is like, you know, bad things happen. Traumatic things happen. And if you had the ability to change them, would you? And this is one of the reasons why I really like 
this story, I really like the Flashpoint thing because it's one of the best Flash stories out there. Now, there are some other good ones too, but like this one right here, this is a character defining uh, um, story for Barry. You know, like, can you go save your mom? Because that's literally like your trauma. That's your trigger. That's your thing because it screws up your dad. It screws up your life. Like, it, you know, imagine Spider Man. Could, would you go back and save Uncle Ben? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what that is. So, unlike Bruce Wayne, who I'm sure he would trade anything to go save his parents and stuff, Flash has that ability to do that. But should he? You know, and and we're seeing all the consequences here, and I love the fact that um that we're actually saying this. So, uh, I'm looking forward to that being explored in this movie. Time has a pattern that it can't help reliving. Different people, different worlds drawn to each other like magnets. Okay, I'm not going to explain what this is because I think it'll be a kind of spoiler, but clearly he goes back in time and meets himself one way or another, but um, I like where this is going. I like where this is going. My face. So my face. If you were to go into the past, you have no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce, I could fix things. You could also destroy everything. This can't be happening. Ooh. I completely broke the universe. Sorry. We've been waiting for you. So he brought on a whole new world by messing around. He brought on a whole new world where there are no metahumans. So apparently, no Aquaman. Uh, I'm assuming no Wonder Woman, uh, no Cyborg. Like there are none of them around. And well, Zod is he done came and uh he finna take over. I created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. I think they they found Kara, so clearly Kara is i'm assuming in this world kara is going to be the substitute for clark so rather than clark kent you know uh or kal-el rather than him crashing the earth maybe it's Kara that crashes the earth and it's apparently i'm assuming this is the government that finds her or whatever want some help and now that he found the real batman Oh. You're you are. Yeah. Go. I'm Batman. Did y'all look at this old man still rocking? Look at this man. Man, if y'all don't get this man stunt double some props, my man Michael Keith. Let me tell you something. I you know, I'm I'm not, you know, humble brag. You know, I I got a chance to like walk up to Michael Keaton and talk to him. And let him know, my man, you you the goat. Okay, I let him know that he's not a big guy. He's not a, he's not a big guy. I think he's like five nine, something like that. He's not a big guy, but my man is putting in the work right now. Okay, he is putting in the work, and I love every bit of it. This is bringing me right back to my childhood when I saw Batman for the first time in the eighty nine Batman, and I was just like, <gasps> oh my gosh! So this is amazing. I can't undo what I did. Look at that. Look at that. And you see, you, you saw him take two steps. You ain't seen that. He hit. I don't know. Hold on. Let me see. Did, did he do the weird run? Did he do it? I can't undo what I did. I don't know. See, man, they, ooh, they, they trying to hide that run. They trying to hide. I don't like that. Don't suck me into that bad run. Mm, I don't know. If I can't get back. There might not be a future. What's the play? Batman, what do we do? 
We try not to die. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I'm well, Barry. We're Barry. Kara looks great. Let's love Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are going to want to see this. Love it. Love it. Now, I'm going to say this. Um, I also think they showed way too much. I felt like I saw most of the movie right there. You know? Um, a lot of that action and destruction with, you know, Ben Affleck's Batman and all that. Like, I feel like you just showed me a lot of the third act. I hope not. Because... The third act is supposed to be your bread and butter. In other words, you're supposed to save the best for last. So when we actually do pay our money and we go watch this movie, you're going to have to top whatever you just showed us. Because the trailer is really just supposed to tease us. I've told y'all this before. Don't have don't have your trailer become the the garlic bread and you get full too early. And I feel like they might have gave us a little too much bread. I think that's what happened here. Am I mad about it? No, nah, because that trailer was fire. But what it has done is it has also raised my expectations to say, I see what you tease me with. You better show me way more in your movie. So now you've raised the bar. You've got my interest. Now it's time to meet it or exceed it. So the movie better be better than this trailer. Now, James Gunn, president, co-CEO of DC Studios, all that. He's already come out and said, like, yo, this is the greatest superhero movie ever. Big talk. Big talk. It looks like it has that potential. It does look like it has that potential. But here's the other thing. We've been down this road before. Because if I were to tell you back in 20, what, 16, 14, whatever. Coming off of that first Batman v Superman trailer, I would have told you, "Uh uh-oh, watch out, Avengers. Uh Uh-oh, move over, Marvel. DC's coming for you. I would have told you that based off of that first trailer for Batman v Superman. If you don't believe me, go look up that trailer. That trailer had us all in a headlock. That was the first time we saw Batman and Superman on screen forever. And that was going to be a movie? What? And then what did they give us? So all I know is DC talks a great game. They always have talked a great game. DC has cut fantastic trailers. It's the follow through I'm worried about. I need the follow through. I need the execution. You drive real well, but can you get us to the destination? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all told me that Batman v Superman was going to be a great movie. You lied to me. You told me Justice League was going to be something monumental. You fibbed. What are you talking about? All I know is I don't care what they say. I don't care what you show me. Deliver. That's all. That's all. And if they deliver what they promise in this trailer, Flash can be a billion dollar movie. If y'all can just meet the expectation, I'm not even, I don't even expect y'all to exceed my expectations. You know what would, exceeding my expectations would be y'all give me Endgame Infinity War level. I'm not expecting that, okay? If y'all hit that, oh my gosh, all praise to y'all. Y'all did a great job. I'm not expecting Endgame Infinity War. I am expecting, let's see, what would be a good, I'm expecting Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 level 
with this flash. That's it. I'm expecting for the and and I don't think that that's a hard bar for them to reach. I honestly think that's kind of low. I think based off of the trailer, they can exceed that. You know, um, I would say the bar for if you were to compare it with Marvel would be Guardians Volume One and Spider Man No Way Home. If you can get anywhere in between those, you you win. You you did it. If you can exceed that, get that Billy. Get that Billy. So anyway, um, I still think they showed too much. I'm not going to believe the hype until I see the movie. Y'all already know. I'm going to let you know how it is when I do go see it. But um, I'm not going to lie. That was a fire trailer. That's a fire trailer. Whoever cut that trailer, it's a fire trailer. I would have pulled back a little now. I would I would have pulled back just a little bit. But you did the job. I think a lot of people are going to go want to see it. I'm going to be right there in line two. I'm probably going to do a watch party for this. Not for Ezra Miller, but for... Actually, it's going to be for the GOAT, Michael Keaton. But, you know, it's going to be for the movie, not for Ezra Miller. But, uh, yeah, a good movie is definitely going to be a good movie. But anyway, what did you think about the Flash trailer? How did you feel? What did you like? What did you not like? Let me know whatever you thought in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats, and if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.